Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. So today we are going to see a Six Sigma case study, which is on manual invoice processing. In a multinational organization where thousands of invoices are processed daily, due to the system constraint, there are some cases where order management requires manual invoice creation. The accounting team of that multinational organization manually creates those invoices. Manual creation of these invoices is a time consuming and error prone process. So the problem that the team observed was that they measured the data for last six months and they figured out that the manual invoice creation takes approximately 17.75 minutes and the accuracy is at 85% for those invoices. So they took two goals. In this particular case study, we are going to talk about the first goal and then I will create another case study which will talk about the second goal. The first goal is to reduce the time of manual invoice processing from 17.5 minutes to 5 minutes by January 2023. The scope of the project was the manual invoices and out of scope was all other types of invoices. The project started with the defined phase in August 2022 and team wanted to finish this project by January 2023, including the control phase. So they had created a project team which had a project sponsor, which was Vice President Finance. They had a champion, which is the AVP of Finance. Project owner is the manager finance and project mentor is Mohit Sharma, the three team members involved in this particular project. The first thing that the team did was to do a brainstorming session and identify all the potential access to high turnaround time. As we are discussing only one goal statement here, so we will talk about high turnaround time in this particular video. The main reasons of high turnaround time were incomplete inputs from sales representatives, which was given to them to create the invoice, knowledge gap of associates who were creating those invoices, method was not documented how to create these manual invoices it was a lengthy process and sometimes there is change in the tax rates because of which there were some errors or there was some high turnaround time that they had to take all these calculations there were some it issues the tedious manual reconciliation was also one of the reasons of high turnaround time and there were time zone differences like that one team was working in us the other one was working in the indian time zone so after doing all of this team collected data. So let me take you to mini tab and show you how the analysis was done on the collected information. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is eight steps to problem solving, which talks about six Sigma concepts. And my second book is continuous improvement, the lean way, which talks about the lean concepts. So let me paste some data in mini tab. So this is the data collected by the team in column C when the data is for cycle time of the invoices and the column C to T has data for input, whether it is incomplete input received or complete input received. Then column C 3 T has documented method available. Yes or no. And then the next one is change in the tax rate, whether change in tax rates has happened for these particular invoices. Yes or no and associate is which associate has processed a b c d and e there were five associates in the team in this particular case cycle time is the project y which is a continuous data so we need to understand whether this is normally distributed or non normally distributed for that we will go to stat basic statistics and graphical summary under variables we will enter cycle time and we will click ok the p-value of this test is greater than 0.05, which suggests that it is normal data. So we will look at the mean. The mean of this data is 17.75. That is what we have written in the goal statement. We want to reduce the cycle time from 17.75 to 5 minutes. The next thing that we have to check whether the X, which is input, documented process, change in the tax rates and associates are impacting the project Y, which is cycle time. 
So for that we have to do one way and over test because my y is continuous and normal and my x's are discrete. So we will go to stat ANOVA and one way ANOVA. In response we will enter cycle time and in factor we will enter input and we will click OK. If you look at the p-value which is less than 0 0.05 suggests that this is a significant x. So input is a significant x. When the complete information is provided the mean is 16.361 and when the incomplete information is provided the mean is 22.54 minutes. So which suggests that when the complete information is provided it takes lesser time. So let us look at the second x which is documented method. So I will press Ctrl E to reach the previously taken action in Minitab. For example, I have to open the screen of one way ANOVA. So I have pressed Ctrl E. In response, I will keep cycle time and in factor, I will change this to documented and click OK. P-value of this particular test is also less than 0 0.05 which suggests that documented method is also a significant x. Let's go and check the details of this test. When the documented process is not available, the mean time is 19.115 and when the documented process is available, the mean time is 13.659 minutes. So it means if we document the process, it takes lesser time. Let us test the third x which is change in tax rates. I have pressed Ctrl E to reach the previously taken action. And under factor I will put change in tax rates and click OK. Let us look at the result of this test. The p-value is greater than 0 0.05 in this case. so change in tax rates is not a significant factor to cycle time. Let us go and check for associates. Under factor, I will have to enter associates. Under response, we will keep the cycle time and we will click OK. The p-value of this test signifies that it is also a significant x. So this value is less than 0 0.05. So this x is again a significant x. Let us go and see the results. So there are five associates, associate A and B and E. They are taking more time because they are new to the system. And hence their training and they had a knowledge gap issue. They had lesser trainings at this moment. They are not aware of the exceptions. So they had they need to be trained and coached so that the cycle time what they take today is reduced. Out of these four potential x's, we were able to identify three significant x's. And now let us go back to our slides and see what are the actions that the team has generated for them. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is Eight Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts. Now you have seen all the analysis in Minitab. Now let us look at what are the solutions that the team has proposed. There were three significant axes from the data and the fourth one was from the process tool approach, which is the lengthy process. The significant X associate had two solutions. The first solution was training of associate A and E as they are new in the system. So they were taking high cycle time and the solution two is that we need to create a buddy system for better mentoring. So one-on-one -on -one coaching will also be provided to these associates. Second significant X was method documentation. So the first solution to this particular significant X is that we need to create a process document wherever they are not available. And the second solution to this particular significant X is that we need to create a change control log and then we have to maintain it because 
there are changes which are coming in the process that we have to document every time they come in and then incorporate them in the main process document so that is something is the second solution that we have to implement incomplete input create a web form with mandatory fields so there was incomplete input which was coming from the sales representatives so what the team has proposed and done is that they created a web form and they have marked few fields as mandatory fields so when they mark them as mandatory fields the team will not be able to submit the form with half information and the second solution to this particular x is that they need to coach the sales representatives on how to fill these forms the lengthy process was the another significant x so the team revalidated the process and they eliminated all the non value added steps and they also figured out that there are few repetitive steps which are happening they automated those repetitive steps with the help of rpa robotic process automation so with the help of all these solution implementations team was able to meet their goal of reducing the overall turnaround time to 5 minutes and hence the project was a success in my next video i will take you to the other part of this particular problem which was low accuracy level which was at 85% at this particular point in time so team wanted to improve that to 99.5% that i will show you in my next upcoming video and there we will conclude what is the business impact generated from this project thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye friends you can buy my authored books on amazon my first book is eight steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is continuous improvement the lean way which talks about the lean concepts